This is James, color director for Clairol. And today I'm going to tell you the top questions you should ask yourself before choosing your shade. Question numero uno, what is your natural hair color level? The important thing to know is where you're starting so you can see what level you're going to achieve and whether it's possible to achieve your desired hair color outcome. Let's break it down. We categorize or break down hair colors into a level of one to 10. One being the darkest and 10 being the lightest blonde. Number one, black hair. Very few people have truly black hair. If you are one of the few, then you will feel a bluish cast to your hair. Two and three, these are people with very dark brown hair. It appears almost black. Four and five, these are people with medium brown hair. Six and seven, these are light brown to dark blonde people. This is what most people call mousy brown hair. Level eight, very few people are a natural level eight. You know if you're a level eight because you are a natural blonde. Unless you were born devoid of pigment, no one is a natural level 10. It is also extremely rare that anyone that has blossomed into womanhood is a natural level nine. So that rules two of the levels out. Can you find yourself? Don't worry, most professional colorists I know can't always determine the exact shape. So as long as you are one or two away, you're doing great. Number two, what is the target color that you are looking to achieve? And is this target color more than two levels away from your current hair color? How do I know how many levels away this is? If you don't know this, after our little lesson, you may want to seek out professional help or you can try using a nice and easy hair painting kit for just a few face framing highlights to give a hint of vibrancy and light. Question number three, do you already have color on your hair? If so, what color was it and how does it differ from your natural color? Remember this important rule, color does not lift color. For example, if you have previously colored dark brown hair and you choose a light brown color and run it through your entire hair, roots to ends, this is what results in that dreaded hot roots effect, where the roots are lighter and the ends are darker. If you want to lighten your ends, you will need to let them fade or seek out a professional to remove old hair color. Question number four. What is the desired tone that you are looking to achieve? By tone, I mean warmth or coolness of a shade. Are you looking to be a golden blonde or are you looking to be a cool icy blonde? Do you like caramel brown or do you not like to see any red, gold or warm tones in your brunette hair? Keep in mind when choosing a lighter color, you will expose more warmth in your hair color. So remember this general rule, ash kills brass and gold warms up your hue. Even though they all do different things, you can use each one of our Clairol products at different times during your hair color journey. Check out these other videos for more easy home coloring tips from Clairol. If you like this video, then please hit the thumbs up.